former British number one tennis player, Johanna Conte, speaks to the current president of the Women's Tennis Association, Nikki Lawler, about their journey into tennis. How far the women's game has come? A lot of us still a lot to fight for. This is the BBC World Service, the world's radio station. Welcome to Newsday on the BBC World Service with James Kupnow and Victoria Wonhonda. Thanks for having you with us. Hanging has been heard from a sub missing on its way to the volcanic wreck site. Five people on board are getting short of oxygen. The search for the sub is intensified. I'll get more from our correspondent in Boston. Shoot at horror in Honduras as more than 40 prisoners are in clashes between rival gangs. War in Ukraine continues, but thoughts are already turning to rebuilding the country. There's a major conference in London on just that topic. We'll speak to a former Ukrainian minister. And we'll get the thought of a genuine prodigy, a 14-year-old who's fresh from graduating from university, just got a dream job at Elon Musk's SpaceX company. All that and more after the latest world news. with the BBC News. The operation to find a missing tourist submersible at the Titanic wreck is expanding to include more businesses and private companies with expertise in deep sea rescuing. The US Coast Guard says the five people on board now have less than 40 hours of oxygen left. And the theory is the premier of the front end from where the dive set off. We will be here to support this effort in whatever is required, hard assets, soft assets, emotional support, physical support, so any different assets that we have uh, in any way, shape, or form. You know, I'm confident that the people in Newfoundland and Labrador understand the significance of this. So this is the BBC, via Madagascar, 13,000 kilometers away. If you hear that distortion here in the speaker, it's interesting because that distortion doesn't seem to come from the speaker. Uh, actually, the other portable I had this week has the same problem. It seems to be more in the processing of the audio rather than the speaker having a problem. Uh, it's very, very weird. At first I thought it was the speaker, but when you have other types of audio, it all is fine. It's really, it seems in the processing and the, the signal, how the signal comes in and is treated through the DSP, I would guess. Uh, which is sad because if it didn't have that little glitch, I mean, look at how well it's receiving BBC 12095. President Joe Biden is meeting experts in San Francisco to discuss the promise and pitfalls of artificial intelligence. Mr. Biden told the gathering that there was a need to manage the risk AI poses to national security and the economy said we'll see more technological change in the next 10 years than in the previous 50. Pointing towards the misuses of social media, the president said it would the harm powerful technology could do without adequate safeguards in place. In February, President Biden directed U.S. federal agencies to promote balance in their use of new technologies, including AI. Western Australia is proposing a raft of changes to the state's current abortion laws, some of the oldest such laws in Australia. The Catholic Church there has opposed the law. Film us. Western Australia's abortion laws have gone unchanged for almost 25 years. New reforms aim to fully decriminalise terminations. Later term procedures up to 24 weeks would be permitted. The current limit is 20 weeks. Mandatory counselling and the need for a doctor's referral would also be abolished. There is no uniform approach to abortion across Australia. The legislation varies in the states and territories. BBC News. The US Senate has confirmed the nomination of a prominent pro-abortion lawyer to the Federal Appeals Court in Boston. Gina Reichelman argued on the losing side of the landmark Supreme Court case last year that ended a half-century of national right to abortion. President Biden nominated her a month later and the abortion groups opposed her nomination. President Biden's son, Hunter, has agreed to a deal that will see him plead guilty to two charges of tax evasion, while a third will be settled without a prosecution. Hunter Biden has a history of drug abuse. 
Hey, Donahue in Washington reports on the reaction. 